morning dear students is the eighth day of online class of grade 7 and of subject english today we are in unit 2 tapodils okay it is a poem written by famous writer william wordsworth william wordsworth is also called also known as the father of romanticism because he writes and recites romantic literature okay so we today we will discuss about the summary of this poem so listen to me very carefully daffodil the wood daffodil is the wood word that remind us about the arrival of the spring season where the field is full of daffodils and daffodils is a kind of flower golden flower okay very fragrant full flower so the bunch of daffodils it represent the arrival of happiness okay bunch of daffodils it represents the arrival of happiness the the main theme of this poem is the nature beauty the main theme of this poem is the miniature beauty mixed of loneliness and happiness in this poem the speaker has con considered himself as a lonely until he see the dancing daffodils near the lake or beneath the lake okay here so, in this poem the author is shown to be very lonely but when he reminds when he recalls about the dancing daffodils when he recalls about the dancing daffodils he became happy and constant all right so let's see in this poem william wordsworth states that one day he was roaming near a lake one day he was walking or one day he was roaming near a lake in the valley he was feeling lonely he was feeling solitude he was when he was feeling very lonely like a cloud so he was roaming lonely like a cloud when you see the cloud in the sky it roams here and there lonely as lonely thing so here in this poem the poet is comparing himself as a cloud okay all at once he saw a group of the golden daffodils as was very lonely as he was wandering here and there like a lonely cloud all at once suddenly his eyes fell off to the group of golden daffodils all at once he saw the group of golden daffodils growing beside the bank of a lake okay under the trees they were dancing and tossing madly in the breeze the daffodils they were dancing they were moving they were moving in the breeze they were tossing madly in the breeze tossing madly means like uh, jumping okay jumping happy okay so they were dancing and tossing madly in the breeze with wine they were dancing the golden daffodils looked like a vivid vivid means clear and bright vivid meaning is clear and bright so the golden daffodils look like vivid stars in a milky way those daffodils it were seems like a clear and bright stars when the writer encountered the golden daffodils they were looking like a vivid stars in a milky way here in second stanza in this stanza the poet he is comparing the daffodils to the stars he is comparing daffodils to the stars they were growing in an endless line without a break it means the poor so the daffodils they were continuously growing they were continuously spreading they were continuously moving in an endless line in this line means 
the line which will not eat. Okay? Those daffodils encountered that those daffodils were moving in an endless line without a break, without stopping. Okay? They were just moving. They were just moving. They were just growing without stopping. The waves of lake were dancing. The waves of lakes were dancing by seeing the daffodils as well. Even by seeing the daffodils, the wave of lakes, they were dancing and so does the daffodils. The whole scene, the scene of daffodils, the scene of floundering daffodils, the scene of dancing daffodils, it was so thrilling, means exciting. It was so thrilling and fascinating. Fascinating is attractive time, okay? And uh, thrilling and fascinating that the poet felt very much happy in that joyful company. So in the company of daffodils and the group of that uh, group of that daffodils, the poet he felt very joyful. He felt very happy. His heart started to leap in joyness. In happiness after seeing such a beautiful scenery of daffodils. This beautiful sight, this beautiful view, okay, view, sorry, uh, beautiful view filled his heart with a wealth of pleasure, with a wealth, with a wealth of excitement, with a wealth of happiness has filled the heart of poet. It left an everlasting impression on his memory. So, so people see it left non-ending impression on his memory. So wherever he goes, wherever he goes, he can't forget that glance of daffodils. Wherever he moves, he can't forget. It means everlasting impression. Okay? So those things, it left an everlasting impression on his memory. Wherever the poet recollected the wonderful scene of daffodils in a solitude, solitude means loneliness. Or uh, whenever the poet become bored, or uh, whenever he feel alone or lonely or sad, what he does, or what he remember, he remember only the view of that daffodils, the scene of that daffodils, and when he Recall that when he recollected it, such a wonderful scene, suddenly he's heard himself start dancing. In the poem, the poet dance, in the poem, you can also say in the book, in the poem the word dance is used many times. It looked at, poet wants to tell us that the dance is the rhythm of the universe. Here the poet and this poem, the word dance is used in many more times. It means it looks that poet himself wants to tell that dance is the rhythm of the universe. Dance is the music of the universe. Okay? As the earth's movement, the movement of art, the movement of art and the transformation, transformation, a translation of night into day or day into night is itself a dance of universe, a dance of our solar system. Okay? So, and the poet says in the end that we should see things with our inward eyes. We should always, at last, the poet confesses that, at last the poet says that, says that we should always observe, we should always view anything with our inner eye, not outward eye. Okay? It means we have to make deep realization about the things. We have to make deep sight about the things. We should always see from our inward eye, not with outward eye. I hope you have understand. In conclusion here, the poet wants to express or being able to express his thoughts, his emotions about the nature. He is expressing, in this poetic form, he is just expressing the changes that has come, that has come before and after.
involving in the nature. Before he was lonely, he was not happy. After meeting or after involving nature or after glancing the nature, after viewing the nature, his thought, his emotions, his lonely emotions has drastically changed. It means after meeting, after going into nature, he himself finds some changes on him. Okay? He finds joy for moment in his life. He found himself in happiness. So, this was the changes that he, that he has gained after involving and before involving into nature. That's it. And uh, as homework, you have to write this summary in your copy. Once, have a look to the summary in a full. Okay? I hope you will do your work. So, till then. This was for today.